Whoa. Hey guys, totally got distracted there for a second. It's actually sitting on the couch. So we're actually going to start this tutorial on how to write a Discord bot. This is actually my first video, so I apologize for it being slightly awkward. I try not to be as awkward, but I'll try my best. Um, the very premise of this is gonna be a relatively simple, hopefully a short tutorial on getting you started with writing your first Discord bot. And the prime example that we're going to do is a Magic 8-Ball example, because Magic 8-Balls are relatively easy to do. It's just kind of like a random quote generator in a sense. The tutorials and all the code that we will present today will be available on my GitHub, github slash brh55. You're more than welcome to check out any of my projects, ask me any questions. I'm more than willing to answer any of them whenever I have time. And I guess we'll just get started. You know, I've never really been in front of a camera like this. It feels kind of weird, especially seeing myself. But all right, yeah, let's get started here. So I guess we'll get to the first cutscene and start. So before we can really start coding, we need to actually create an application within Discord. So we're gonna go to discordapp.com slash developers. And once you go there, you're gonna get redirected to the applications page. And this is the page where you're gonna create any new application that you want within Discord. In this case, we're just going to create a bot. Um, so we'll just go here and we'll say, we're gonna create a magic eight ball, magic eight ball bot. And we're going to choose a icon that I actually already downloaded here. Right here, I'm gonna upload that. That looks great. Uh, we can have a quick description here. It tells you your future. Cool. Once we have this, we're gonna to go to this left side here where it has a bot tab and we're click bots. Now we need to build a bot because this is gonna be a user account that's going to represent our application. So to do this, we just go to add bot and adding a bot user gives your app visible life in Discord. This action is irrevocable, yikes. Yeah, we're gonna do that because we should definitely do that. And we really need to do that in order for us to create a bot on Discord. Very important that um, in order for us to add our bot into our guild, which Discord calls it guilds, but it's essentially just your chat server. We need to go to this documentation here and look around. We have to look at the OAuth um, page and it tells you how to add a bot to a server or to a chatbot server. So I'm gonna click here. And it's just a little brief overview. What we really want is your bot authorization flow. Uh, we're gonna copy this link over here gonna paste it here, but the thing is, we also want to be considerate of our permissions. So if you look at your query string here, you'll see that there's a scope bot, which is what we want. Uh, the client ID needs to be changed to the ID of your application, and the permissions needs to be updated to the correct set of permissions needed for our application. So if we go back to this page here, and we, go on, scroll down to bot permissions. We are going to select the set of permissions we want to use. In this case, we're not really doing anything super complex. The only thing we're actually really doing is sending messages. And while managing messages may be useful, in this case, we probably don't need that. Um, mentioning everyone might be useful, but um, our bot's relatively simple, so. It's really just a quick way to get started on creating Discord bots, nothing more intense than that. So we're gonna copy that permissions integer. We're gonna go back into this URL, copy and paste that, oops, copy and paste that into that permissions query. So it's gonna be 2048. We're gonna go back into here, go back to general information and copy your client ID. Once you get your client ID, you're gonna paste that right into the client ID and you're gonna hit enter. So it's gonna get you redirected to this OAuth flow page. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this magic eight ball to this bot server that I have. Uh, I have this Discord bot test. I know it's a very fun, fulfilling channel consisting of myself, but that's okay. And it'll say that these are the permissions that you're expecting and it's just send messages. So we're gonna hit authorize. And oh yeah, I'm not a robot. Cool, so now that's authorized. If we go on Discord, doo -doo 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 -doo, we will see this bot. Hit open. We will see this bot within our Discord channel. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So on this Discord channel here, 
Uh, we have, oh, we have, there goes. We have this magic eight ball here. It's currently offline. So even if I tried to message it, hello, how's it going? How's it going? It doesn't really matter because it's not gonna respond. We don't have anything. We have no server in place or no bot actually running, but that's just to get you first started with creating your basic application to just get started. So we will move on to the next part, which is actually coding it, which is the fun part. So bear with me as we move on to the next part.